Well, I guess it's, it started about five years ago. I, I told myself that I could stop at any time, but I guess the realism of it is. Hello, my name is Mr. X, and I'm a statue addict. Hello, Mr. X. Mr. X. Hey guys, this is the Extreme Channel. Recently, I was listening to some comedy radio and Jeff Foxworthy, you know, the redneck guy, one of his bits came on and it reminded me of all of his redneck jokes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, here's a couple excerpts. If your two-year-old has more teeth than you do, <laughs> you might be a redneck. If you've ever financed a tattoo, Three more payments and this slum gun is mine. If you go to the family reunion to meet women, you might be a redneck. So it got me thinking, clearly there are signs if you are a statue addict. So that's what today's video is about. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. But before we get started, we're doing a couple giveaways. First, make sure you comment sometime on this video. If you can come up with some more, you might be a statue addict. If, please put those in the comments, that would be hilarious. The reason I ask you to comment is we do a monthly drawing on the 15th. We choose two random comments and we send out little gift packs. Also, we're almost at 12,500 subs, which you know what that means. You won't have to watch this clip much longer. On our road to 20,000 subs, we are giving out this Mortal Kombat statue at 12,500 subs. All you have to do is make sure you've liked this video. You've subscribed to the channel and you've hit that bell notification and stay tuned for that giveaway. So we got a little over 20 of these. You might be a statue addict if, and anytime it's one Mr. X falls into, you're going to see a little X right here. So take a tally below and also comment on how many of these you fall into. So let's go ahead and get rocking. You might be a statue addict if you have called in sick to work just because you have a piece being delivered that day. You might be a statue addict if you own a shirt from a YouTube statue reviewing channel. You might be a statue addict if you and the UPS guy are on first name basis. You might be a statue addict if you could have bought a beach house with the money you've spent on your collection. You might be a statue addict if you've honestly considered how late you can pay your bills just so you could purchase a new statue. You might be a statue addict if, when shopping for a new home, the biggest consideration is where you're gonna display your collection. You might be a statue addict if, moving is the scariest thing you can imagine. You might be a statue addict if you are in more than five Facebook groups that all post the same crap. You might be a statue addict if you know what the word fan art means. You might be a statue addict if sideshow is your equivalent to the normal person's target. You might be a statue addict if you tune into the Extreme Channel every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. You might be a statue addict if you are really into a comic or character that you knew nothing about until you saw it in statue form. You might be a statue addict if you know what happens on almost every Thursday at 1 p.m. You might be a statue addict if you're afraid to bring your date down to your man cave. You might be a statue addict if instead of watching CNN or Fox for your updates, you watch Gem Mint and Cisco. You might be a statue addict if you've lost more than one NRD. You're probably also a statue addict if you know what NRD means. You're for sure a statue addict if you've tried to explain to your partner why statues should go in other places besides your collection room. You're a statue addict if you're tired of hearing the question, is spec fiction legit? You're for sure a statue addict if you've done this before. <laughs> You may be a statue addict if you've remodeled part of your house simply to display more statues. You might be a statue addict if you don't need anyone to explain to you what one-fourth scale means. You might be a statue addict if when you type in the letter S in your web browser, the first thing that comes up is Sideshow Collectibles. So that's my list, and honestly, that was pretty easy to come up with. And there's few other things out there in the world I love as much as statues. Of course, I'm talking about Mrs. X, but let me know in the comments below how many of those you can relate to. Let me know if you come up with some of your own. As always, thanks for tuning in, guys. This was kind of a fun video. I got some other ideas of some videos we're going to fill in with daily content as we wait for some extreme arrivals. 
But I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have not subscribed, 60% of you haven't, hit that Mr. X logo, hit subscribe, hit that bell. Check out some of these other playlists. As always, take care, and I will talk to you tomorrow.